it is not September, it is October 3rd. Sorry, I haven't posted in a few days. Um, it has been crazy around here. This might well be my very last video to you ever, because I might die soon. Um, here in Russia, obviously, everyone has these, like, jokes about how it's always snowing and always cold, but unfortunately, it is kind of true for a lot of the year. In the summers, it is, it is quite hot, but, um, in the winters, it's also just as cold as you, you hear about. Um, so, uh, we are supposed to have, like, a late summer, like I told you about, but that was supposed to be in September and it didn't happen. Um, so, today, being October 3rd, we are into October now, there's no chance of it getting warmer again. Um, and so it is now, it's already started snowing. It started snowing the day I made my last video where, um, I guess it was at the weekend, um, it started snowing. It was only one night, it was some, it was, ice was falling though. Uh, and it's, it's gotten increasingly colder and it will continue to be just as awful and windy and just really freaking cold until it starts snowing. Um, hopefully it starts snowing soon and it'll warm up, which doesn't really make sense, but it, it's true. Um, ask anybody that lives in a very, very cold climate. Without the snow, it's awful. Once it starts snowing, for some reason it feels much warmer. On days it snows, the only reason you even wear a hat, anything to cover your head, is because to keep the snow off your head. Um, it's not because it's cold. Um, and so it's... Right now it's just really, really super windy, really, really freaking cold, and uh, it's cold enough that you need... We've already had to get out our, our thick, like, ridiculous winter coats fur-lined and all that, and um, just just to stay warm, having to wear long underwear and crap. It's uh, the beginning of October, holy hell. Um, even last year it didn't start until until November, um, mid-November even, six weeks from now. Um, not, oh well. Um, so as, as to your video, that's pretty funny, someone trying to, uh, to threaten a police officer with calling the police on them. That's amusing. Um, so that's, that is, that's quite amusing. Um, other things going on here. I have discovered trying to find a place in my house to set my camera on that is the like right elevation so that it's not like recording my chest or recording like the top of my head. It's impossible. Every, everything in my house, like you can see even my like refrigerator behind me, it's like, it's tiny. It's, it's smaller than I am. Everything in, in, in this house is either too small or too large to put my phone on. And so, or, or my camera on, so I've got to, to hold it. I've tried every single angle. I've tried stacking things to put the camera on. It just doesn't work. Um, it's, it's a complete nightmare. I could put it on the, on the, um, on the refrigerator, actually, but uh, then it would be facing the window, and it's so bright you can't see me. I'm just an outline against the light. Um, so I just have to hold it until I find a tripod or, or some means of, of elevating it slightly um, and somewhere where there's decent lighting. Um, other things going on right now, not a hell of a lot, to be honest. Um, looking out the window, this always kind of amuses me. Um, there's no one doing it right now. This, it's something that strikes me as odd. I don't really know why people do it. I mean, I guess fruit trees have fruit on them, and so fruit is meant to be eaten. And so, well, it's not meant to be eaten, but people tend to do it. Um, and so if a fruit tree drops fruit on the ground and you don't eat it, it just rots, or it's eaten by insects and worms and whatnot. So I guess it makes sense that you would eat fruit. I typically buy mine at the market, but Russians have a tendency, like there's a bunch of fruit trees outside my window, and, and nearly every day, at least once or twice, I see people just walk by picking up all these apples and things and putting them in their pockets, or sometimes they'll just like wipe it off and eat it right there, and it's just, you'd think it was a, a nation of starving people. It's, I mean, I guess... I don't know, maybe I just haven't ever seen people do that in America, maybe they do. Um, but that, that always strikes me as very odd. I'll look out the window and people are like filling their children's pockets with apples. Like, <laughs> alright. Not a mom, huh? That's normal. Anyways, um, so, um, what else? Oh, yes, wow. Um, I, I touched on it in the last video, but I've actually, I've, ar I've already quit. Wow, I've, I've taken to playing EVE Online. Um, if you'd like to try it out, I would love to, I, I can help you, teach you about the game. It has a retarded learning curve, it's not something you can pick up on your own. People have to teach the game to you. Um, but I, I, I'm not sure I'm going to be going back to WoW ever. So, I mean, it's a possibility, but I, I don't see it happening right now. Um, other things that are going on, we have gotten a bunch of new teachers in 
recently for the impending winter surge of students. In the summer, everyone goes to the beach. They like to be outside and having fun, and so we don't have a lot of classes. Um, and in the winters, everybody doesn't, there's nowhere to go. You can either sit at home or you can do something creative with your time um, indoors somewhere else. And so we have a huge surge of students in the winter. And so we have to pick up a lot of new teachers. And so we've gotten a few new in. We had an American um, already gone. <laughs> people don't always survive Russia. Some people come here and just can't take it um, and leave again. We also have gotten um, another another American. Uh, I forget where this girl's from. From what I understand, she's like mid thirties, um, and this in America isn't at all strange, um, but she's black, and that's completely fine, but something that has struck me as very odd, and you don't really see anyone that's not white in this country. It's, it, you know, being from Alabama, where half the population is black, it's, and I, I never even really noticed it until I got here, and there weren't any black people, and it just was really strange. I, I didn't really feel comfortable. I, it just feels weird. I don't know how to explain that. But, um, uh, there's probably, I, I don't know, there might be as many as a hundred, but there's, I've, I've seen only a small handful of, of black people here, and it's, it's unsettling. I don't like not seeing black people. Um, and anyway, so we're going to have a, a girl coming to the school soon, and, and color's not supposed to be important, but it's, I might hug her. <laughs> I know that's really strange, but I just really, I don't know. Um... I probably shouldn't even be talking about this. This is terribly racist, I suppose. Even being nice about it, I guess you shouldn't even discuss color. But um, we have two... We have a couple that just got here from Poland. Um, obviously, speak English perfectly. They're English teachers, so uh, they're really, really cool. We went out the other night. Um, what else is... What? Who else did we get? We got... We have a few new Russian teachers. Um, I think those are the only ones that are from out of country. Two Americans and two... Poles. I think that's it. No, sorry, we've got a new Italian teacher um, also. Uh, so that's, our, our staff has been bolstered for the winter. Um, it's, uh, I'll have to show you some advertisements. That we've been doing a lot of advertisements recently for uh, Christmas. I went into the office yesterday uh, just to pick up a register. It, it, uh, of course, I'm a teacher, so I have to document all of my classes, everything I do with all of my students. Um, you know, so we can review, um, or, you know, the administration can look and see what we've been teaching, or, um, to make sure that we're on schedule with, with what we're supposed to be doing in the course, or, you know, if I get sick, another teacher comes in, they need to know what I've been working on and what needs to be done next class. Anyways, I have, some students are not at the school, some of them are out about the city, and so we have to travel around to, you know, some students, you know, I, I think our school actually is the most expensive school in Samara. Um, there are tons of them. But ours is the most expensive. Most of our students are are rather well off. Um, but it's they're the best courses. You get official certificates, Cambridge certificates when you complete courses. Um, we have you know the best staff. I mean it's it's worth the money, but it is it's a considerable um, considerably expensive uh, school. And uh, so we've been doing all these advertisements and uh, to bring in students. And so we've we've just renovated all of the offices. I don't even want to know how much money they've spent. It's it looks amazing. The offices are just brilliant. Um, but they uh, they want to you know show off the new offices, and so they've been bringing in uh, photographers and things like that. To um, uh, we've we've been in newspapers and in magazines, like really nice magazines. I've had my face in, in a number of them. I was on uh, the news one day. Um, they they like to show off the native speakers. And um, I walked in yesterday to pick up a register for one of my classes. You know, um, you know, they when you're paying that much, we'll go anywhere you need us to go to teach you. So, um, and so we, I went out to uh, to pick up the register. When I walked into the uh, the school, I walked around the corner. And my director was standing there, and she was painted like a deer. <laughs> she had like the black nose and like the white stripe down the center of her face, like a doe. She had the antlers on. <laughs> uh, and they were um, they were doing Christmas photos for the next session of magazines that are going to be coming out, I guess, next month. <laughs> she was like, Cooper, glad you're here. <laughs> take off your jacket. We're going to take some pictures now. And um, uh, it just happened that a few of the teachers showed up right as they were doing it. And so 
Um, I was wearing, you know, <laughs> I looked like I was a bartender. I wasn't working, and so I was, I was wearing jeans and a t-shirt. And uh, I did. I, one of the other teachers commented that I looked rather like a bartender, not like a, an English teacher. <laughs> but um, and that's all right. We none of us were really prepared for it, and so it was really the way we naturally dress every day. Not like we didn't dress up for these photos, so that was interesting. But uh, you never know when you might walk into work and have your picture taken for a magazine. That was exciting. Um, but all that said and done, uh, sorry again for it taking me a few days. It's been just crazy. I've had um, a lot of, of things going on in the mornings. I usually have my mornings off, um, but it's gotten quite crazy this past week with uh, with new students and classes being rearranged with the new teachers. Um, and so hopefully I'll be able to settle back into a new pattern um, this week. Well, this week, so I'm coming to a close now, so next week. Um, but I'll be able to, to do videos more frequently and not these three-day gaps in between. So my most sin sincere apologies. Um, I guess that's about it. Um, that was... <laughs> uh, when I was watching your video about <laughs> all the gear on your belt, <laughs> the way you were listing off the things on your belt, and you were like, and latex gloves. Like, not gonna ask. That, that's not, I know you have to carry them, but that's, I don't want to know why. <laughs> that's terribly inappropriate, I know. I know, of, of course, it's nothing inappropriate. Usually, usually, of course, you, there are some occasions, but I was just like, the way you said it, <laughs> I, maybe I'm a pervert, I don't know, but the way you said it was just, uh, I laughed. Um, anyways, I guess that's about it, really. Um, I had a bunch of new classes, a bunch of really awesome students coming in. Um, I also heard that we are having a third office um, we're going to be putting in a new a third office now in the city, um, just for children. It's going to be just a children's office, which I'm I'm happy about. I'm not one of the children's teachers, but it's it's a bit um, it gets a bit crazy at night when you're you've got a bunch of adults in one room and a bunch of kids in another room, and it's it gets a bit chaotic. And we had had some. Ay, ay, ay. Um, I used to teach the kids, and I've been I guess bumped up to adults now. I teach mostly adult classes, like. Uh, 20 to 40-ish. I have a few students that are older, but most of them are in the 20 to 40 range. And um, the new teachers have got most of the kids, for the most part. So it's um, everything's going really well, though. I love the, the new location now that I've been here for a little while. It's gotten really awesome. I've been, it's been quite comfortable. Even the grocery that uh, was close to where we used to live, was uh, it closed at 10 o'clock. And uh, this one closes at midnight, which is awesome since I don't get home till 10 o'clock. Um, so that gives me time to, to go grocery shopping at night before I, I come home. Um, you know, if Marie hasn't done it already. Um, but again, that's, none of the food has, you know, a lot of preservatives or anything like that. So you have to shop every day, every other day. You can't, n none of the food really lasts a whole lot longer than that unless you get canned goods or uh, like um, spaghetti, things that you prepare later. But most of it is, um, is fresh foods, which tastes significantly better. But, um doesn't last so long so anyways um as for hell i don't know what to ask you i don't know we'll just keep doing updates until i come up with something i guess uh anyways it's been good to hear from you uh sorry last time for uh, not posting um for <laughs> three days so um love you hope you're doing well and uh hope to hear from you soon peace